Let's go, Box. Timing, timing. Hold. In 15. Ball. Now, can they have the power here? Exeter, who lost here in the Premiership Cup when Gloucester had what many believe to be their best half of rugby in the first half of their season. And the Chiefs couldn't get back into that match. They knew they had to start strong today, and they have. Just got the three points at the moment. Eager to add to that now, and they have done it. And it is massively deserved. The Chiefs been clinical inside that opposition 22. Use it. Oh, there's space there. Beautifully worked again. And Slade getting away oh. again. Oh, he just floats it out to Skinner into his path. Off the floor to John. That is superb to watch from the Chiefs again. They've done so many good things this season. So much to be proud of. So much for their fans to shout about. And there's another. One sideways. Here's Mercer now. Woodburn had read it, but he couldn't take the ball. Thorley was in there, and May will get it, and Gloucester are back. Well, actually, they're off and running. Spectacular defensive read from Molly Woodburn, but it's almost the pass was almost so poor that he couldn't quite get it. Good hands there between Fissela and Vermeulen. Jenkins to Slade. Slade arcs that run. It's classy again. Now can Woodburn finish? Oh, he can. He most certainly can. The acceleration, ball in two hands and giving it early. I think it, it kind of looked like had he given it too early and given to Ollie Woodburn too much to do, but actually he trusted his winger. Thank you. Clock goes red. It's these cherry and white jerseys that need another score here if they can just before half time. Oh, and there's a gap there as well. And Clement is going to give Gloucester that score. It felt important and it feels really good to that man because he's delivered on the right line. The reason why a scrum's a good idea here, you know, presuming it stays steady and gives Tom Cairns good ball, is that it makes sure that eight Gloucester defenders are exactly where you want them. You know exactly where they are for a phase, so you can launch into space. It is the perfect place for an attacking scrum. See what the Chiefs can do with it. They can get it to Manny Feu, who goes over again. Well, Oli Foley's just caught in no man's land. Far too easy. The pass is lovely. It's, going to call, it's a lovely pass. It's an easy finish. Lost to make another change. Louis Hillman Cooper comes on. Tackle! They do have one eye on the semi final. That's inevitable. It's been part of their planning process over the last few weeks. Of course, it has. hasn't been denied by uh, the coaching staff. In fact, it's been embraced. Yes. There will be changes here, but also they have to show that kind of spirit. And Arthur Clark gets what he deserved earlier in a way. That's twice he's done it in the match, but this time he's delivered. What does George Skivington want to see? That's what he wants to see. Absolutely, relentlessly not giving up. Skinner with the kick pass, and it's absolutely right on it then the kick inside looking for Cairns and they'll have to motor across here Morris got there somehow first he knew he had to but then it doesn't come back and referee Christoph Ridley says that's illegal Cairns has taken it quickly it's virtually the spot that you know two things you're in front and it's hit me but not quite right and the hitting the referee is the key point really off goes Yendel there. Oh, and that short run is enough yeah. for Vermeulen again. Oh, he's got so much strength in those situations. A dominant hit against him there is so tough. Oh, 
the try bonus point win. Still fighting, still staying in the hunt. Final score, Gloucester 17, the Chiefs 38.